Cola firefighters finally able to clear the scene after battling that massive fire at a scrap metal facility. It was pretty intense. Our Dacian Smith now with the latest. It was a long night for the Pensacola Fire Department. Crews were called to a two alarm fire at Southern Recycling on Myrick Street. This video from about three miles away shows heavy smoke visible throughout the night. Deputy Fire Chief Brock Jester says around 12,000 square feet were burned. He says firefighters were very familiar with the property. They allow us to come and train with our equipment prior to, so we were familiar with this, with this facility and uh, realized that if this was in with the, uh, the, uh, tr the cars, um, recycled cars, that they would, uh, we were going to be here for a while. Five engines and a ladder truck responded just before 8.30 last night. A battalion chief and command staff soon followed. Deputy Chief Jester says crews spent the next several hours fighting the fire, but it was hard because of access to the property and the storms. The fire hydrant's about 2,200 feet from the area that was, in, that was on fire, so we didn't have a whole lot of water supply, and our fire boat was unable to get up into the bayou. They had zero visibility. They were unable to get into the bayou. Uh, our intent was to use them as a water supply from the bayou itself. Once the storm was over, firefighters were finally able to use the ladder truck and the fire boat to get more water. Southern Recycling was able to help pull the cars apart so crews could attack the fire directly. Firefighters spent 12 hours fighting the fire before being relieved this morning. Everybody did really well last night. We, uh, we were able to rehab our firefighters fairly quickly and uh, keep everybody at work. Deputy Chief Jester says one firefighter was checked out by EMS but was able to go right back to work. Crews were finally able to completely extinguish the fire and leave the area around 11 o'clock this morning. Everybody understood that they weren't going to be able to put it out quickly and uh, and everybody just worked tirelessly throughout the night to, to try and get this thing taken care of. Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.